Well, my name is Nina. I'm your host for today. And we have Dr. Ramesh Kumarisen, Associate Professor and Dean of the Faculty of Dentistry at Ames University, who will be sharing with us about the ins and outs of a dental technologist as well as the in-demand career opportunities. So just a quick background about our esteemed speaker today. Dr. Ramesh Kumarisen has been an active team member in designing the curriculum of the Bachelor of Dental Technology program in Malaysia. After completing his Bachelor of Dental Surgery from Vinayaka Missions Dental College in India, Dr. Ramesh furthered his postgraduate degree in oral and maxillofacial surgery from the KLES Institute of Dental Sciences, Belgium. After a stint of training in stem cells and regenerative medicine from Outer Stem Laboratories, Dr. Ramesh is now the Associate Professor and Dean of the Faculty of Dentistry at Ames University. Thank you so much, Dr. Ramesh, for joining us today in our webinar session. Yeah, thank you so much, Ms. Nina. How are you doing? How are you doing now? Uh, yeah, great. I'm in India now. Yeah, we heard that you were in Malaysia. Happy. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. I came for a short trip and I was locked down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> all right, so I guess we can uh, move on with our um session. I'm just going to inform all the live audience that's watching if you have any questions for Dr. Ramesh about the dentistry or even about Ames University, please leave your comments below and your questions below and we'll get to it at the end of the session. Yeah, without um Doctor, would you like to continue presenting your uh, yeah. slides now? Yeah. All sure. right. So, I share my yeah. Yes. All right. You can you can start sharing your slides now, Doctor. You can just, yeah. Yeah. You can just click the share screen option. Yeah. All right. Okay, there it is. So without further yeah. ado, um, let's hear it from Dr. Ramesh. Yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Sinina, for an uh, um, uh, introduction. And uh, it's really great. Hi, um, uh, ladies and gentlemen. It's really great to talk to you. Uh, today and myself, I'm uh, Dr. Ramesh Kumarasan. I'm currently the Dean of uh, Faculty of Dentistry, Ames University. And uh, in this talk, I wanted to share with you uh, an insight about a much rewarding career, uh, but uh, actually uh, not well taken up career now. Uh, that's about dental technology, which has a uh, very much demand currently in Malaysia. Um, so before we start, with the talk uh, just to show you about the uh, workplace where i currently work uh, this is ames university the lush green campus and very beautiful campus uh, one of the beautiful campus in malaysia and southeast asia i just invite you all to have a look at uh, the conducive environment that we have in such a good university and um, i would like to start my talk uh, by thanking the frontliners currently uh, who are making a tremendous change in the confining the current pandemic and uh, uh, no doubt uh, Malaysia is doing uh, the best right from the superior authority to the common public what we have seen currently in the country is a very good teamwork uh, as we all know Teamwork is the key for success. That's what is exactly happening in the country now. A very good teamwork that makes the dream work that is confining the pandemic situation. And uh, it's not only in country now. Teamwork works everywhere. Uh, in any field you take, you need a team and you need an effective teamwork to deliver the best. And uh, in my field, that is dentistry, it's not an exception. Creating a beautiful dental smile, that is the objective of my profession. And that too cannot be done only by a dentist. We need a dental team that work behind to create a beautiful smile to any patient who reaches us. And I am just mentioning here, it is definitely a teamwork. It's it's not only the dentist who can bring up a beautiful smile. So to talk about smile, smile or free, yes, but it's worth a million. 
because the joy of changing a person's life by creating a beautiful, gracious smile is one of the rewards of being in a dental team. So uh, I have been repeatedly mentioning here as a dental team because most of them would not be knowing what a dental team is. Because when you go to a clinic, whom you meet is a dentist or an assistant as well along with the dentist. This is what a patient thinks is a dental team, but there is more than this to a dental team. So just to introduce our dental team here, these are the members of a dental team who work in the clinic as well as background in the laboratory to bring in a beautiful smile on a patient. We have a dental surgeon who will be treating you in a clinic. Apart from that, we also have a dental nurse and currently we call them as dental therapists who are a vital member of a dental team. Followed by that, we have dental surgery assistant. A uh, dental surgery assistant is one who will be assisting the dentist throughout the procedure. Apart from that, we also have a dental assistant uh, who do not assist the dentist during the procedure, but they do the other uh, arrangements in the clinic as well as in the office job in a dental clinic. And we have another person in the team that is the dental technologist. Most of the time, people would have not met a dental technologist in the dental clinic because the dental technologists are a vital part of dental team but are not found working in the clinic because their um, uh, territory is mostly in a dental laboratory. So how do they work? What are they actually? Um, as I told, they are a vital part of any dental team. Suppose a patient is going to a dentist and the patient needs a crown or a cap to be placed on the teeth. Um, the dentist takes an impression and that impression will be sent to a dental laboratory. And in the laboratory, the dental technologist or the one who will be fabricating a denture or the cap, and then they pass it to the dentist and the dentist will fix it back into a patient's mouth. And uh, as you see, it is a 50-50 percentage of work that is shared between a dentist and a dental technologist. Neither can't survive without the other. That's how it is. So this is what a dental technologist do. And to make it very simple, dental technologist is a personnel who can be thought of as an artist with a thorough understanding of the dental material sciences. As you all know, in dental sciences, we use a a lot of materials, both in clinic as well as in laboratory, we will be using a lot of materials and a dental technologist is expected to know in-depth knowledge about these materials, as well as he should be an artistic person because this artistic skill is what is required to fabricate any prosthesis, either intraoral inside the mouth or in the maxillofacial region. Just as you see in these pictures here on the right side, you have the dentures. On the left side, you have the crowns and bridges, which are mainly fabricated by a dental technologist in the lab. But dental technology is not just confined to these crowns, bridges, and dentures. They do also do maxillofacial prosthesis. Suppose a patient who met with an accident has lost a part of his nose, or sometimes there might be a patient who has a cancer surgery done and a part of their eyes has been removed, nose has been removed. Um, in that case, the patient's aesthetic and function is highly affected. So in order to bring back the aesthetic, the function, as well as the psychiatric aspect of the patient to give them a psychological support, these dental technologists come in to fabricate the maxillofacial prosthesis. That is the prosthesis that can replace their eyes, ears, nose, and all other part of head and neck region. So this is again, another specialization of a dental technologist. And it's not only ends here, they can also do a implant dentistry related prosthesis. Now implantology in dentistry is going very fast and dental technologists are an immense part of this implant dentistry and also braces or dental uh, orthodontics. So when you have to place and braces and you have to give any appliances, 
The orthodontist mainly depends on the dental technologies to fabricate these um, uh, appliances as such. So to put it in a very simple way, dental technology is the technical side of the dentistry, whereas the sciences deal by, dealt by the dentist and the dental technologist deals with the technical aspect of dentistry. And dental technologist on prescription of a dentist, they make any processes or appliances for head and neck region. And in fact, these processes, what they make is going to bring back the aesthetics and the beautiful smile on a patient's face. So these dental technologists demands a high level of responsibility, accuracy, as well as an artistic skill to bring back that smile on a patient. Now, in Malaysia, where all you could see these dental technologists technologist working. Uh, these are some of the areas where the dental technologists are found working now. Uh, they have a job opportunity or career opportunity in these fields. Number one is the government dental clinic. In fact, every government dental clinic in Malaysia will have an attached dental laboratory and dental technologist are the vital part of that laboratory. And we also have a significant number of dental technologists working in armed forces dental laboratory uh, in Malaysia, as well as there are plenty of private sector dental laboratories in country. Uh, if I'm not wrong, there are around more than 500 dental technology laboratories all over the country. And we have thousands of dental technologists working in Malaysia in the private sector. Apart from these public and private sectors, dental technologists also have a very good scope in companies who manufacture dental materials for the research purpose, for testing purpose, they need the expertise of a dental technologist who are an expert in dental material sciences as well. Apart from this, we also have a, a significant number of dental technologists who are serving in universities and teaching institutions uh, who guide and supervise the students during their processes. So these are some of the career opportunities currently available in country for dental technologists. But dental technology is not restricted to one country. It is a global profession. Um, as a dental technologist, you have a high demand in international market as well. If you are a skilled dental technologist, you can, you can uh, practice in any country. And in Malaysia, dental technologist is a registered profession under Allied Health Profession Division. Uh, it is like uh, Allied Health Profession Division has around 24 to 25 fields, and dental technology is one among the Allied Health Professions. And um, in Malaysia also, the private dental industry, that is a private dental laboratory, gets a bulk of work from the dentist in fabricating the process. So there is a huge demand and a requirement in the private dental industry for a dental technologist, especially for a skilled dental technologist. And there is definitely no barrier of becoming a self-employed. Um, the dental technologists are entrepreneur by themselves. So um, they can start their own dental laboratories with a little bit of investment and they can definitely excel as an entrepreneur in Malaysia. And uh, among dental technologists, dental technology itself is a huge umbrella of field uh, in which we have a lot of specialization still. Um, as you see in the picture here on the left hand side, you can see the dentures. As I told before, you have removable or fixed dentures, and a dental technologist can focus mainly on this, or else a dental technologist can focus on a maxillofacial prosthesis. As you see in the picture in the middle, you can replace any lost maxillofacial regions. Uh, by, by the way, the maxillofacial means the head, neck, and oral region. Any, any, anything lost in the head, neck, and oral region can be replaced by an artificial prosthesis with the help of a dental technologist. And uh, next, a dental technologist may only focus on an orthodontic appliances. When you go to an orthodontist, he's going to place you some um, brackets and bands. So a um, dental technologist will support an orthodontist by preparing and the appliances which can be placed on the patient's oral cavity to move the teeth and align the teeth. 
uh, it's not only there but also in implant dentistry uh, dental technologists can exclusively practice as an implant specialist uh, they fabricate the processes that is mainly required for an implant dentistry so these are some of the uh, career opportunity or specialization that a dental technologist can focus Apart from that, um, there might be some questions like, is a career as a dental technologist really rewarding? Um, I would like to pose seven questions to whoever who have that particular um, query. Uh, if you have to find your career more fulfilling, you have to ask yourself these seven questions before you take up any career. Uh, starting number one, you have to see whether the career fits well with who you are. So you, know, you have a passion. You have to see whether the career which you choose caters your passion. And the second point is whether the occupation is compatible with your work-related values. So every person have a life value, a work-related value. Is the profession or the career which you choose is compatible with those work-related values? And the third one is how enjoyable is your work? You may have a passion, but at the same time, if the job, what you are doing is not interesting, not entertaining, there's no point in continuing it. So you have to know whether your career is going to make you more entertaining or you're going to enjoy your job duties. Along with that, the schedule of your work, uh, they, they say it as an work-life balancing does your work really help you in balancing your life and work that's what is very important as well and not to avoid money um make enough money you have to make enough money whatever career you choose should give you the sufficient money and that also has to help you to advance in your profession so it should not stop there whatever career you take up should have an opportunity to advance your knowledge and also your level of education and last but not least whatever career you choose or program you carry out there should not be any trouble in finding a job means the job prospect should be bright for those career which you are going to choose and of all these seven questions the first three questions are more of a personal question since you have to ask to yourself whether this particular career fits me is it compatible or am i going to enjoy my job after i choose this career but i may tell you how dental technology would suit you on based on these seven questions Let, let's see some of the examples in um, dental technology how it suits your job um are you going to to enjoy your work is your work going to be entertaining uh, how i look at this is dental technology is more of an artistic job uh, yeah there is also a science part of it but more of skills if you are creative if you are innovative if you are artistic then dental technology is the right career for you because as you see on the picture here it it involves more of an artistic hand a proper eye hand coordination and you have to be creative and also you have to keep in mind that you are going to bring back the aesthetics and smile on the patient so that makes yourself a creator so you have to be more creative so yes this uh, challenge will be you will be facing every day of your career so that is really entertaining and you will be enjoying that side of the job as a dental technologist and coming to the next work life balance so uh, in this busy world everybody is back of work you have a lot of work tension you forget your life but a life as a dental technologist has a very much balanced life um, it means you are not going to work 27 24 by 7 it, it's just uh, from morning 9 to 5 and you just bring up the uh, work what the dentist gives you you just be creative create the smile on the patient's face and just give it, yeah, give it back to the dentist and he's going to fix it to the patient so just you have 
enough time to your work and you also can enjoy your life with your family so that is a very much work and life balancing situation as a dental technologist next are you going to earn a good salary well you should know how much a dental technologist are capable of earning uh, right this is an uh, uh, information i just extracted from salaryhood.com an average dental technologist salary per month is around 4000 us dollars it's not only in us even in united kingdom a dental technologist are paid uh, a pound of 1900 pounds uh, per month uh, that's what a dental technologist could earn uh, with their skills and expertise uh, coming back to malaysian scenario um, and uh, information gathered from salaryexplorer.com um, a Malaysian dental technologist earns an average of 5,600 Malaysian ringgits uh, and the range varies from 2,700 ringgits to 8,900 ringgits based upon your expertise, the year of experience and the skills you have. Definitely not a uh, minimum amount and uh, this graph clearly tells as your experience increases as a dental technologist your pay increases you any, any dental technologist the starting will be salary will be around 3200 ringgits and you have an opportunity to reach up to 8500 malaysian ringgits in and based upon your experience a year of experience and also that depends upon the skills that you are going to develop throughout your career now uh, I hope uh, the participants might know what a dental technology is about, what a dental technologist role is in a dental team, and uh, why rewarding is or how rewarding is a career as a dental technologist. Um, let me also share some gateway into dental technology, like uh, at various level, you may be at various level of education now. How could you become a dental technologist? Uh, if you are an SPM or O level or UCE, you have three pathways to become a dental technologist. The first one is you can take up an STPM, foundation, A level, or matriculation. And from there, you can lead into dental technology as a bachelor degree. Or uh, you can have a diploma in dental technology or even a post diploma. And uh, you also do have an entry into Bachelor of Dental Technology program. And if you have a diploma in any health sciences, you too can have an entry into a field of dental technology. Now, if you watch here, uh, under dental technology, you have two different type of programs or levels of uh, training. Uh, you can become a diploma in dental technology or a bachelor in dental technology. Um, bachelors in dental technology is a very new field in Malaysia and having a lot of scope and demand in market now. Uh, because uh, other than I, I'll just uh, uh, tell you about the dental technology program shortly but before that uh, what is the number of years you have to spend to become a skilled dental technologist if you take up the first pathway like uh, after you finishing stpm foundation or a level that is one year of program followed by that dental technology program itself is a four-year program so in total you have to spend five years in gaining the skills if you are taking up the second route like into the diploma in dental technology followed by a degree three years is a diploma in dental technology course and if you have a diploma in dental technology you can directly enter into second year that is year two of dental technology program into bachelor of dental technology program so in total you have to spend around six years to become a skillful dental technologist with a bachelor's degree and if you are choosing the third uh, streamline, like you have a diploma in dental and uh, health sciences, then three years of diploma or two and a half years of diploma together with a four years of dental technology course, it's around seven years that you become a skillful dental technologist. This is uh, just of what are the various gateway to become a dental technologist. So I will just take you through the various courses in dental technology that is available in Malaysia. 
Uh, in Malaysia, we have a diploma in dental technology. That's a three years course. And we have a bachelor's in dental technology. That's a four years course. Um, a diploma is now being upgraded to in into a bachelor's degree. Uh, there are a few institutions that provide diploma in dental technology. But um, uh, as uh, we have to progress in the career with a good educational level, we always demand the best. So I would demand a a bachelor degree in dental technology and currently uh, very very few reputed institutions or universities are providing bachelor's degree in dental technology uh, like, like you have university of otago in new zealand or we can have a Griffith, Univers a Griffith university in australia and even few institutions and universities in uk and also in us do provide dental technology program at bachelor's level in malaysia uh, Ames University is the only university currently that um, delivers Bachelor of Dental Technology program. And in fact, uh, this is the first and uh, fully recognized program in Malaysia. And not only in Malaysia, in all entire Southeast Asia, we have the Bachelor degree in Dental Technology only in Ames University. So I'll just tell you uh why bachelor's is better than diploma and also why taking up a course in a country is better than going to overseas uh, obviously um the the degree from new zealand australia uh it's very uh not not so cost effective i would say uh, but in malaysia it's very much cost effective at, and we have the standards similar to any other international countries Coming to the difference between a diploma as well as a bachelor's degree, uh, diploma, as I told, is a three-year program uh, where you focus mainly on expertizing and removable partial dentures. That is a denture which uh, we usually pay place to in the patient for replacing few teeth, and uh, some might be a complete denture or a fixed processes that is uh, the crown and the bridge work. So they mainly focus and uh, the expertise in these uh, basic uh, dental technological procedure. But as a dental uh, technologist with a bachelor's degree, you have an, an comprehensive or holistic uh, uh, graduates, like you can focus on removable partial dentures, fixed dentures, maxillofacial processes, orthodontic appliances, computer-aided dental technology, implant processes. These are the various specialization that you can do or you get expertized and skilled as a bachelor's degree holder in dental technology. And uh, also, the, since it is a bachelor's degree, uh, the graduates are expected to have a critical thinking, problem-solving, uh, competency and uh, we do encourage research methodology following by that uh, leadership skills and entrepreneur quality is very much expected from a bachelor's degree holder in a dental technology program so a bachelor's degree holder makes you a holistic graduate that is a 21st century learner with all the competencies that is expected from a 21st century student or an job employees so also salary wise from a diploma to a degree in malaysia there is around a 24 percentage of increase in the salary which you will be paid as a bachelor's degree i hope it's really worth it to have a bachelor's degree in dental technology now coming to the program what uh, Ames university provide uh, we do have a bachelor degree in dental technology and this is the first ever bachelor's degree in dental technology in malaysia or in fact in southeast asia and it's a four years program and we have eight semesters and this program is fully accredited by malaysian qualification agency that's mqa and why choose AIMS? Uh, uh, a similar program is even uh, offered by various international universities, but uh, the product program currently followed in AIMS is benchmarked with all the international curriculum. And we have a world-class infrastructure for dental technology program exclusively for our dental technology program and an experienced academicians who have more than 20 to 30 years of experience 
in training dental technologists and all these things at a very affordable fee uh, then what else you need uh, that's the best thing that you can get to become a dental technologist in country so it's not only there we also have additional exposure to our students because uh, learning is not only limited to the campus it has to be learned from other outside world as well so we have a collaboration with university of otago new Zealand, which has one of the best uh, in dental technologies currently and uh, so the students of ames university in dental technology program do also get a chance to go to university of otago for a short attachment to learn all the uh, recent advances in dental technology also uh, since dental technologists are currently working in various sectors like the public sectors, private sectors, and educational sectors, we do have or encourage our students to do have attachment in all these sectors. So our students go to a public dental technology laboratory, a private dental technology laboratory, as well as an educational institution for a short attachment to know how things work in those sectors that's very important that's going to decide or going to give you a guidance on how you are going to uh, take up your career after you graduate as a dental technologist so we are focusing on that and we give attachments to these various sectors also during the four years of course and job prospects as i told the seven question out of all the seven questions the seventh question is do you get a job immediately after you graduate uh, here is the proof um, we had nine graduates that's the batch one student of dental technology course in ames university uh, who joined in in 2015 and after four years in 2019 they graduated that is last year and all the nine graduates are now being employed and that we could see a 100% employability rate and it doesn't only stop there um, we do give them an opportunity to have in campus interview uh, we call in the best dental technology laboratories in country and also international laboratories to conduct interview on to our graduates and uh, most of the graduates have also gained employment following the interview Review. and it's really cool that you get employed well before you give your final semester examination that's what we have done to all our batch one graduates and for our next batch which to them so these are some of the laboratories which have conducted their interview session with us oriental welfare group from Japan, and we have uh, orthotech dental laboratories in Penang and also Skywind dental laboratory from Silla who have conducted interview to all our graduates and they have they are very much happy to see the amount of expertise that these graduates have gained in this program so just to give you a gist of various dental laboratories in malaysia and dental technologists in malaysia in malaysia uh, there are around 900 dental technology laboratories and uh, 350 of them are under uh, kkm that's under uh, uh, public uh, dental laboratories in government setups and uh, around 538 registered private dental laboratories that brings up a total number of around 900 uh, dental techno laboratories in malaysia and coming to dental technologists currently in Malaysia, uh, around 1,000 of them work in public sector. And uh, in private sector, we have around 800 of them registered with Malaysian Dental Technology Association. And uh, nearly 90 of them are working in educational institutions. And there are still around 5,000, approximately 5,000 non-members uh, who are not at registered might be in Malaysian Dental Technology Association. Uh, talking about Malaysian Dental Technology Association is a private dental technologist association established recently and uh, under the uh, Allied Health Profession. And uh, they are encouraging all the dental technologists to get registered under that association. And it is in progress going on. So these non-members are shortly going to become a member, a registered dental technologist. And if you see in total we have around six to seven thousand dental technologists in malaysia which is much much less 
than what is required in Malaysia to cater all the dentists and also the patients. So, um, and um, I would say 99 percentage of all these dental technologists have a diploma uh, in dental technology with few having a post basic degree uh, as well. Um, and uh, hardly there are 10 to 15 uh, degree holders in dental technology in Malaysia. So there is a huge scope for a dental technologist with a degree, a bachelor's degree, especially you have skills, a comprehensive skill of what all a dental technologist are able to do. So that tells you what the job prospectus as well as what dental technology holds for you in future. Uh, it is definitely a rewarding career. And um, if you want to know in further about the entry requirements and various other um, uh, program structure of a dental technologist, feel free to just log into Ames University website, aims.edu.my, where you get a comprehensive detail about everything dental technology has for you. And I would like to just end with this small quote, uh, three C's in life, choices, chances, and changes. You must have a choice to take a chance or your life will never change. So you have to bring up a change in your life. You have to take chance and take make a choice now. And I hope if you are having these seven characters, then you are um, very good, are going to be a very good dental technologist. So for everyone who asks a dental technology, does it suit me? If you have an artistic instinct, if you have an attention to details, and if you have a very good eye-hand coordination, if you are curious to learn new things and you have a good color perception, means dental technologists work on colors in getting a patient's beautiful smile. So you should have a color perception. You should work independently as well as you should have an entrepreneurial ambition. If you have a mixture of this, then you are a good dental technologist or you're going to become a good dental technologist that is a rewarding uh, career so dental technologist is truly a rewarding career but it requires hard work commitment and compassionate nature that it makes it a, a successful calling for you so i hope i have given a uh, insight about what dental technology and dental technologist is all about uh, uh, if you have any question, you can just type in in the comment section. I'm ready to share my knowledge further on this. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Ramesh. That was a very enlightening presentation on dental technologies. I think a lot of us did not know that to be a dental technologist, you need to have a flair for the arts. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that, that's really true. Yeah. Um, let's just, uh, let's see what questions do we have for you i think we can see quite an array of questions doctor you can actually just uh, scroll down some more yeah, yeah yeah so if you can see our first question mm -hmm. is actually from damien Ui. it's a very long one can you see it doctor um uh, yeah i could see all right so i'll be i'll be pulling the question right into the stream yeah yeah right. please Okay, uh, so Damien, uh, uh, the question is, what did you enjoy about it? What did you dislike about it? What makes you study this course? What would you do differently if you want to start over? And what are your advices before getting into this field? Okay, um, what did you enjoy about it? Um, uh, I, I'm, I am currently a dentist, actually. I would love to be a dental technologist uh, because I have uh, the artistic uh, uh, abilities to become a dental technologist definitely but as a dental technologist what i enjoy uh, because i see uh, or i guide the dental technologist students here uh, it's about how entertaining is the program uh, nothing could give you a better uh, satisfaction when you see a smile on a patient's face uh, in Ames University, mainly a dental technologist will not deal with the patient at all. It's only the communication with the dentist and the dentist deals with the patient. But in Ames University, we make it a point that when a dentist or a dental student uh, treats a patient and the work is given to a dental technologist, the dental technology students as well are present in the clinic 
is the patients so they directly communicate with the patients so all our patients are aware who are all a team in the dental uh, team actually working the members in the dental team so that i really enjoy about in dental technology the artistic part of it and seeing a patient smile in front of you and what did you dislike about it no mm. there is nothing i could dislike about dental technology uh, the mere uh, the view of the maxillofacial prosthesis that i am a maxillofacial surgeon a prosthesis made by a dental technologist the mm -hmm. procedure of making it is very tedious but the end result is really happy uh, so i don't have anything that as i dislike about it what makes you study this course um uh, as a dental technologist if i have to answer as a uh, uh, i'm a dentist but as a dental technologist what i communicate with my colleagues uh, they say the same thing uh, it is an artistic work uh, you don't need to break your head or you don't need to um, be very stressful when you do some work you have to enjoy the work i i could see our dental technologists playing music and just working in the laboratory so that really what a dentist cannot do in a clinic uh, that yeah. that's the happy part of it and what would you do differently if you want to start over um uh, i will not start over again but if i can start now i can i would be able to again become a dental technologist as an additional training for me i would like to do like to do that mm -hmm. and what are your advices before getting into this field i have yeah. given the advice already the seven questions you answer for all the seven questions and that that's what makes you to excel in this course mm -hmm. so you need to have an artistic mind and you should be really creative if that is what is you then this field will really suit you all right so there's one question from ash i'm just going to pull the question uh, yeah. right into the stream Okay, what is the difference between dental technology and dentistry? Can I go from one to another? Uh, well, um, dentistry and dental technology are different. As I told, dentistry deals with the clinical aspect of it. Dental technology is the technical aspect or the laboratory aspect of it. Um, I, I look at like this, if, if I, I give an example in my talk as well, when a patient goes to a dentist, the dentist looks at the patient, he drafts what are the treatment needed for the patient. And also if a patient needs a prosthesis to be placed in the, in the oral cavity, he, he passes that to a dental technologist. The information will be passed to a dental technologist. In the laboratory, the dental technologist uh, designs a prosthesis and he hands it over back to the dentist. And the dentist can fix it into the patient's home mouth. So this is two different fields in a dentistry, one dealing with the patient, another dealing with the laboratory work. And uh, one cannot exist without the other. A dentist cannot go to a laboratory and sit and do a denture work. Though we have the basic knowledge of how to do a denture, we have done it back in our graduation time. But now we don't go to a laboratory. We have specific experts doing that. So dental technologists or experts, they do prosthesis and dental surgeons are the one who deal with the patient. And can I go from one to other? Uh, definitely, uh, but uh, you have to go through the entire. For dental surgery, we have five years of program and dental technology is four years of program. Though there is a lot of over, um, I mean, the uh, program is there, there is a crossover between these two. Uh, the initial years might be almost the same subject, but it is very difficult to do a credit transfer from as a dental technologist, I have to again go through the entire dental surgery program. Because right. as I told, it's dealing differently. Right. So in order for you to jump to the other, you got to go back to basics then. Is that it? Yes. Yes, right, exactly. Okay, noted. There is one question here from Nala. She's asking about salary. How much does a dental technologist earn? Okay. Um, I have again placed it in my uh, slides presentations as well. Um, uh, in taking uh, an example from our um, graduates mm -hmm. who have graduated last year, the starting pay for the graduates of fresh dental technologists is 3,000 plus Malaysian ringgits. Mm -hmm. So, and based on their experience from there, they can go up to eight to 9,000 ringgits. And instead of you getting paid, a dental technologist or themselves an entrepreneur, they can start their private laboratory and they can earn much, much more than what they are being paid. So th right. those are the opportunities for them. All right. Okay. So I, I hope Nala took 
took that in. <laughs> um, <laughs> but the one from Chris Z, I think this is a very long question. Yeah, Chris Z. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned there is a huge demand for dental technologists. May I know what's the starting salary like for fresh graduates? I think we already have the answer. And if yeah. I wait to start my own dental laboratory in future, what are the things that I need to be aware of? Um, you have to be aware of means dental technology should have a good contact with dentist. Uh, mm -hmm. That is a part of their training as well, communication skills and teamwork. So that itself will uh, get you an establishment. So you have to see where you have a lot of uh, dental clinics and you have to cater the dental clinics. That would get you an ideal positioning. And apart from that, uh, based on your expertise, so which particular field you are interested in. Uh, mm -hmm. Few dental technologists may be interested in only getting a denture work. So you can establish a laboratory that caters only denture work. Or if you want to be a porcelain related work, you can just establish that. Or if you need uh, the best and um, state of art dental laboratory with all the recent or later, uh, latest technologies, you can also establish that. So you have to decide where you are going to set up and to what, um, um, what do you call, uh, uh, what is your specialization you are going to start with? So based on that, you can fix the laboratory. So even when starting your own dental technology lab, there is a specificity that you can and pursue in order to build one. Yeah, uh, yeah. You you can decide on what you are going to cater on. Uh, it's, uh, you can also have everything like a, a denture or a fixed one, uh, a porcelain or an implant. We do have uh, labs in Malaysia which caters every sector of dental technology, or we do have laboratories which is focusing on only one particular. Uh, part of dental technology right. so it depends upon yeah as you complete your course you get a uh, guidance from there as you experience you know more and you know where is your passion towards or which particular specialization is your passion towards and you can go, just go and establish that that particular dental laboratory all right okay noted um <laughs> one last question here doctor by any yeah. um here she's yeah. here is it true that everyone's teeth are different? I saw on TV, they say our dental structures are like fingerprint. Um, yes, uh, you are correct, Annie. It is exactly like your fingerprint or your eye sign, what, what they use for scanning. Uh, mm -hmm. Everybody's teeth is different and the arrangement of the teeth is different. So even if you just look at your palate, uh, the upper jaw palate, uh, you have some lines. You can and just pass your tongue over it and you can just feel those irregularities. Those irregularities are also used as a forensic evidence to find out or identify a person. So not a uh, palatal rugae, we call it, is not same for every person. That is also like your finger, uh, uh, so what is that, uh, grip? It's totally yes. different. Whatever you have in fingerprint, similarly you have it in the palatal rugae. So the tooth is also uh, individual to each person. Wow. Okay. That's actually very, that's like new information. I think a lot of people yes. uh, put so much emphasis on just thumbprints. Yeah. But even for tea, that's how they could differentiate. Yes, exactly. Yeah, all right. So yeah. Dr. Ramesh, we have come to an end of our session. Thank you so much for answering all yeah. of the questions. Um, we hope that our audience has gained some valuable information from this session. Um, we hope that we could get to see you again, Dr. Ramesh, for our next webinar session. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Thank you so much for hosting, Miss Nina. And very nice to hear from the participants as well. If you have any uh, guidance or if you have any queries, you can always contact us in Ames University or also to edu edu advisor. We'll yes. be happy to uh, get to you. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Dr. Ramesh. Yes. Bye. Thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Nina. Bye bye.